Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Stormworks, and it's here. It's finally here. Our oil rig is finally done, and so yeah, that's kind of what we're gonna go over today. We're just gonna do our classic workshop walkthrough. So I've just got some uh, still shots for you guys going on in the background right now, and uh, yeah, we're gonna walk around. I'll show you guys kind of some of the features, how to use a lot of them, um, some of the things that you might miss if uh, you know you don't read the description, and if you don't, I don't blame you, but also you you slightly frustrate me. Um, but yeah. So we're going to be going over a lot of the features and uh, just through the layout and that kind of thing. So if you guys are watching this on the Steam Workshop, what's up? Hello. Click that uh, subscribe button. And uh, for the rest of you, if you guys like this build, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Uh, we've got more builds coming up. Uh, we might also start playing some other games here soon. So I guess keep your eyes out for that. But uh, yeah, there should be a link down in the description to this. And I'm going to quit blabbering on about and we're going to get right into it. So um, just starting off, this is a all-in-one oil rig. So it's mobile oil rig. It is self-propelled. So you guys will be able to move it yourself. Now, um, saying that, you might want to tow it. It is pretty slow. It only goes about seven knots. But uh, it does have autopilot, all of that kind of good stuff. So you should be able to drive it to whatever oil site in the ocean that you need to go to and start drilling. So the drilling is all automatic, all that uh, good stuff too, and we'll get into that. But um, uh, the drilling, it's automatic. The refining is semi-automatic, and we also have you know slurry filters and all that other good stuff that you need to uh, drill. So everything is self-contained on this. And as with all of my creations, it also, we went a little overboard with the HVAC and the plumbing. So there's fresh water systems and air conditioning and, and uh, you know, all the HVAC stuff that I normally do anyways. But uh, yeah, so we are just gonna start off here and uh, we're gonna get right into it, guys. So I'm gonna quit yapping out about, we'll actually talk about what's going on in the background. We're up here in the uh, the crow's nest or not really the crow's nest, just uh, the top of the power or the tower where the pump jack is. And I'm just gonna, we're gonna walk down here quick and we'll just kind of check out some of the oil rigs. So the first thing I'm going to do is we are going to head up into the bridge. So I'm just going to go into the superstructure here. This is the main floor and we uh, will check these out a little bit. Um, that we're not going to get too crazy in depth with the, uh, the floor plans and stuff. I kind of want to give you guys some time to explore yourself. But uh, yeah, up here is pretty much all of your controls. Right here is your generator. Easy to turn on, flick the switch flip the throttles up and it should be good to go. Now this generator, it will produce enough power for you to not only move the oil rig, but also drill and do pretty much anything you want. So it should not run out of power. Uh, I just click the flip those two switches for the anchors. You can see we have four indicators on all four corners of our oil rig diagram. And over here we have some more controls like our spotlight array in the front, our uh, deck lights for night and our physics sensor that we can um, send out for the helicopters. If you guys didn't see, I had a helicopter build challenge for this uh, this build or this build specifically. So there's plenty of good helicopters we know works with this. And uh, if you happen to be one of the lucky few whose name is uh, on the, the helipad, thank you, shout out you. You are our fake quasi sponsors uh, like the FM group and uh, ZE. So, uh, you know, just kind of some fun things like the lockers. Uh, if you guys are newer to my channel, I uh, put lockers in all of my creations and then I name them after uh, people in our Discord. So if you guys want to get in on that action, there will be a link to our Discord um, somewhere, whether you're on the Steam Workshop page or YouTube. Um, but yeah, definitely check that out too. So right now I'm not going to be talking too much about the specifics. We've just got a bunch of bunk rooms down here and we've got some showers. We've got a shower room and a bathroom. Like I said earlier, all of our plumbing works correctly. It, uh, it's all as realistic as possible. So not only is that fresh water, it's also heated fresh water. So no cold showers. And uh, these are the lockers I was talking about. So those are the two lucky winners. Now for this one, I just spun a wheel with a bunch of names on it. So uh, if you guys want to have a name on a locker in an upcoming build um again just be in the discord i'll drop an announcement at some point how i did it with this one is you guys just commented on uh or left a reaction to the announcement i made and i threw your name into a random name picker but again we're just walking around i got a catwalk down here all this looks really cool we've got a harness that uh that harness acts was actually made by jack not by me and uh yeah we'll we'll head back up top side and we will see if we can start getting this thing drilling. So I, I will show you guys how to uh, drill real quick. It's super simple. Like I said, it's all automated. So shouldn't you really do not need to do anything and it does not require your attendance either. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get our oil heating up for our refinery. You don't need that to drill. You do need to turn that key for the slurry on though. So the first step is open the door, 
After you turn your slurry on, you'll get that green R glowing, which means it's ready for a new rod. You can click either the, the get rod button or the auto drill. And this is kind of the sequence that follows. So all of this is again, automated. So it's gonna pick these up. It's gonna push them into uh, the wellhead and it'll lower the wellhead. And then once the wellhead's connected, it'll start drilling with the pump jack. So um, it's quite a complex system. I'm not going to explain it all um, in this video. It's just a little too much. If you guys want, I have plenty of videos of us building this oil rig. There's a lot more in-depth explanations about how we did a lot of this stuff. Um, but yeah, so this is essentially it just auto drilling. So that was the first rod. We're going to add the second rod here and I'm going to go ahead and just turn that off so it's not running in the background. Um, now it does run well in the background. I, uh, I'm just trying to give you guys the, uh, the best frames I can and I am on a, uh, on a laptop. So um, this thing on a laptop plus recording computer doesn't love me if I'm being honest, but uh, the nice thing about this oil rig is it will work on all physics levels. So you should be able to run it on low, medium and high, depending on whatever you need. I specifically designed it that way. Um, and you know, I will say this well, while we're in the video, like all things in Stormworks guys, it's not going to work perfectly. I'm sorry it doesn't, but it's not going to, nothing does. Um, so if you have some trouble with it, um, you know, that's just, it's part of the game. So I do apologize, but, uh, you know, I do have plenty of videos of this thing working and, uh, you just follow the steps. It should work. Um, you know, even in my testing, I can confidently say to you guys, it doesn't work all the time. It doesn't, um, you know, there's just, I think there's too many variables in the game. Um, but I will say, generally speaking, uh, <laughs> this is kind of really strange. I actually found it ran a little bit better on low physics than high um, as far as consistency went. So it was a little bit more consistent on low physics, especially with uh, getting the rods to connect to themselves correctly and um, kind of sit inside of the clamp, basically feed themselves into the clamp without the need of you pushing them there. So I thought, I thought that was really weird, but anyways, enough of that. Um, I'm just gonna turn this back on and we will continue walking around the boat. So um, coming right out, uh, well, I guess I'll talk about this stuff a little bit. So you got all of these gauges back here, are all of our fluids, our oil is heating up. Now I'll come turn that refinery on once it is heated up, but coming over here, we've got a little emergency area and underneath, it brings you underneath the helipad to like a crew break. Um, underneath that building, we have a nice little workshop. So this is completely useless, but super cool. I love my workshops, so that's why we added it. Um, definitely pretty important to have on an oil rig. Over here, we don't really have much. This is mostly just our oil rod storage container. And uh, another thing to note, guys, that oil rod storage container is not made by me. It is made by one of our Discord mods, Jack. And if you search uh, oil rod uh, storage container on the workshop, it'll come up. There should be a link to it also, um, but it is a oil rod container or a uh, storage container with 32 rods in it. And that way you can unload and add rods as you need. So going back here, we got our generator set up pretty simple. There's no controls back here, just a bunch of gauges and uh, pretty compact. We do have this cool little loop right here. Now what this is, is a cooling loop that will pre-warm the oil as it's coming out of the, uh, the ground. So if you know you're gonna send this straight into the re uh, refinery and the refinery is hot and it's refining, it might be nice to preheat it with the coolant off of the engine and that's what that's for. So I'm gonna try to do my best to explain what's going on uh, mechanically, but essentially what we've got over here is we've got this water tank and in the bottom of this water tank is a seawater tank and so we're sucking seawater in from these hoses and we're turning it into fresh water. The fresh water gets pumped into our giant slurry towers. And uh, I'll show you guys that in a second. But yeah, you guys can see just pretty simple in here, just a bunch of water tanks and a bunch of desalinators. It comes over here into this slurry or into these slurry filters and everything is color coded. So you can see we've got our two slurry tanks um, coming into our filters to get cleaned out there. And that way we can recycle our, our slurry. We don't really have to worry about that. And uh, then, you know, it goes into the oil refinery, gets refined, stuck into our storage, and then you can export it there, um, that little uh, station down by the water. So that is kind of the plan with here. Um, one other thing that we do have, and I won't get into that, is we've got this nice little diving room. There's a diving bell, so that'll help you get down to the wellhead, do any repairs if you need to. And uh, yeah, we'll just kind of walk across the uh, center here. Now, um, there's a little button there and you'll notice, I, I'm actually kind of glad this happened. So we had a little bit of a goof up in this, uh, this video. And so that little button there, that contact sensor, if you walk across that, it should reset the pump jack. So if you do have any drilling um, issues, that is what tells the pump jack to go all the way back up and then come back down. 
So, um, you know, if you're having some sort of issues, try hitting that. That button might help you. But back here, we have a pretty useless room. This is just all decoration. This is a communications room. Down here, we have our storage room and Jack's bedroom. And uh, yeah, mostly just microcontroller storage down there. So again, nothing really in here other than just decoration. So let's get out of here. Um, the slurry filters are really cool because you can walk around on them. I think you've, there's a lot of really, really cool views over here. Uh, but anyways, enough of that. Let's uh, get off of here. I don't want to go downstairs. We'll just get off right over here. And uh, we'll head back over here. Since the uh, pump jack's connected back up, we'll turn our motors back on. So it's drilling again. It's in, It'll continue drilling. But uh, yeah, that's, um, I mean, as far as the layout goes, that's pretty much the entire oil rig. So there's a few other things. Obviously, we got our oil, our oil uh, refinery here. So you guys can see I just turned it on with that button. The oil is going down, and it is getting split respectively into its diesel and jet storage tanks. And that way, you guys can directly export refined jet fuel or diesel. So you cannot, you cannot load um, jet fuel onto the oil rig, but you can load diesel onto the oil rig, and that way you can, you know, obviously move around as you need. But uh, that's just kind of something to keep in mind. Now, uh, I know some of you will probably try to play with this in career. Guys, I did not make this for a career, and if you think it's made for a career, um, you're going to have to be money bag Myers to use this. So um, if you do end up using it in career, good on you, um, good for you. But this, guys, really, this was more of a, a creative project, more fun. Um, there's nothing economical about this oil rig, not even slightly. So um, do not use this as a form of making money. You will be drilling forever and forever in debt to me um but yeah so we'll uh we'll head back up Ooh, sorry about that noise guys but uh we'll head back up i'm gonna ride this harness back up this is just another way you guys saw there was a ladder over there too so and uh there's a bunch of rope anchors down there on the the pylons and whatnot too and pulleys so if you guys want to tow this thing out to sea that's fine now i'll show you the other area that you can export fluids you climb up this ladder and we have two buoys connected to some winches so um, we'll turn some lights on and i will show you right now see that yellow buoy floating down here in the water um, on the other side of that is a hose connection so you can drag that to a boat and unload and or or load fuel but yeah guys that is uh, pretty much it there's one really one other feature i'll show you and that's just because i don't know how many of you will really pick up on it unless i do show you and that is a crew change module for this crane so uh, this is not a reckless, dangerous thing. I mean, it kind of is a reckless, dangerous thing, but this is a method of crew change on oil rigs in real life. So I wanted to add it. This is just a little platform, um, kind of like a cage with a bunch of seats on it. So if you guys need to, uh, you know, get people onto a boat pretty quick, this would be a easy way to do it. And this is just another fun thing you can do with the crane. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much the oil rig in a nutshell. So uh, like I said, if you like this build, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I spend a long, long time on these builds, but I do it for you guys. So uh, definitely um, let me know what you think of it. I hope you guys like it and, uh, you know, I'll catch you in the next one. Um, before I let you go, I will uh, we'll, we'll give ourselves a nice little send off on the uh, the life rafts just because so you guys can see that. But uh, yeah, guys, you know, if you are new to my uh, channel, don't forget to check out some of the other builds we've done in the past. And uh, we've got some some fun stuff coming up, too. Um, I should have that heads up display out for you guys soon ish. Um, but, you know, you guys will get a video on that. As for the build videos for now, I think we're just going to stick with the frigate for the time being until I get a little bit further ahead on some other projects. But like I said, guys, that's all I got for you in this one. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.